One of the issues that first-time users of Rhino and Rhino Gold have is with the command line interface. So the command line gives you a method to enter a command instead of having to come up to the top of your screen and also it's there to give you feedback when you are running a particular tool or command. Sometimes we need to see what, what's actually going on there at the bottom of our screen. So just to give you an example of this, let's go to our top view and we'll run the trim command. It's under the drawing tab. Over here, trim is the command. Now look at the bottom of my screen here. If I'm not looking down there, I wouldn't notice necessarily, but it's asking me to select the cutting objects. So I'll select the cutting objects and it's saying to press enter when done. So again, if I wasn't conscious or aware of what was happening at the bottom of my screen, I might be pressing buttons or clicking somewhere wondering what's happened. It's now asking us to select the object to trim. So I'll just click on the inner parts here of the circle and trim them away. I'll just undo that. So that does cause people a bit of confusion and we're going to make a change in some of our preferences to uh, get around that. So under the file menu we're going to select options and this will bring up the options dialog box. Now the first thing we're going to look at is under the Rhino options here is under general. By default the software sets up as uh, the number of undos to 1. I'd suggest we change that to 20 and the reason for this is that when you are designing a piece, you're working on something, there are times when you do have to go back to an earlier stage and having 20 levels of undo as a minimum is I think a good a good level. Now we're also going to come and change uh, under the modeling aids section here you'll see a little plus symbol just click on the plus symbol and the first thing we're going to change is the nudge options. Now the nudge keys, change that to arrow keys only. That will allow us to use our left and right and up and down arrow keys to move an object around. And we're going to change these nudge steps. So uh, where it says nudge key alone, we'll change that to 1.0. Where it says control plus nudge key, we'll, we'll change that to 0 0.1 and shift plus nudge key, we'll change that to 10 mil. And the last thing we're going to change is under the section cursor tooltips, we're going to put a check mark to enable cursor tooltips and we want these tooltips enabled for our object snaps, O snap, for distance and for the command prompt which will solve the problem we had earlier. Uh, the X offset you can leave at 10, the Y offset at 10 as well. So let's have a look at these changes. So we'll run the trim tool again and you can see my cursor now has the command line saying select cutting objects which is exactly what it says down here at the bottom of my screen. So I can click to select my cutting objects. It's now changed to say press enter when done and it's also changed now to say the next step in the command select the object to trim. So I think you'll find that it's much easier. The other thing just quickly is these nudge keys that we changed. If I click on an object I can obviously click and hold my mouse button and drag it around but if I use my arrow keys I can nudge in one millimeter increments, left and right, or up and down. If I hold my shift button down, I'm moving in 10 millimeter increments, so whilst holding my shift button, and if I press my control key and hold that down whilst using my arrow keys, I'm nudging one tenth of a mil, so 0.1 every time. And look, that's about it. Hopefully that helps.